welcome back to a brand new video yo so um i've been seeing this 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 guy destiny um i think his real name is steven or something like that but um so i don't really know about him too much i just um because he's a i think he's a twitch uh streamer or gamer or something like that and um I don't really play a lot of video games. I'm not on Twitch. I'm not on any of those platforms. So I don't really know too much about him, but he pretty he has a pretty solid like um uh YouTube following. <clears throat> but I first learned about him in um I was watching Jesse Lee Peterson and he interviewed him. And that's that's what I know of him. That's that's where I first saw him. So but apparently he's 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 in this open relationship with his soon to be ex wife. They're getting a divorce, and um, it's kind of you know it's sad, but it's like I kind of knew this was gonna happen because I saw him after seeing him on Jesse Lee Peterson like four 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 years ago. Um, he ended up showing up on like Fresh and Fit. And the whatever podcast he had like blue hair i was like i recognize this dude from somewhere like who is this dude and i was like oh that's that dude from jesse lee peterson man he, he interviewed him that one time with me in studio destiny right yeah uh how did you get the name is that a lady name uh, yeah kind of i made it when i was like nine you call yourself destiny well in real life i call myself steven but online i go by destiny yeah. oh so your real name is steven yeah but on lie, you pretend to be a woman? No, I just have a feminine name, I guess. Yeah, that's a girl name. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is. Do they know you have a girl name on lie? Uh, I don't think most people see it that way online. Oh, uh, do they see Destiny as a male name? I guess so, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Destiny is a Twitch streamer, a gamer, and YouTube personality who also cover politics and philosophy his website is destiny.gg i appreciate you coming in i appreciate you having me uh happy new year happy new year and so are you conservative or liberal uh probably very liberal probably very liberal compared to yeah compared to what most americans yeah oh yeah how old are you uh 30 years old really and how long have you been a liberal uh probably five to Six years, maybe. And you were a conservative prior to becoming a liberal? Very much. And what made you become a liberal? I got a little older, a little smarter. Oh, you Grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man? Uh, I was tired of being an <laughs> idiot, but... <laughs> you, so you woke up one day, you know what, I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. I think there are plenty of men that are liberals. Not so real men. You really think so? Men who are liberals are betas! What do you mean, what is a man to you? I'll tell you in a minute. That's a good question. I wanted to ask you first, though. Yeah, so that's that's when I first that's when I first saw um Destiny. So <clears throat> you see uh Jesse Lee Peter called him a beta. But uh, yeah, it's kinda um it's kinda why well, I don't know why he changed his name to Destiny. I don't I don't really understand that whole thing. Why you wanna why you change your name to Destiny? You went from Steven to Destiny. He didn't really go into detail about that, but that's that's kind of that's kind of weird to me. It's like you wanted a, I mean, like Jesse Lee said, he's like you he wanted a girl name or something. Like I don't want to, really, I don't really understand that. Maybe, maybe that's a Twitch thing. Maybe you kind of make up a name or something, and you, and uh, you just maybe he just always wanted to be Destiny. I don't know, but um, so yeah, I mean. I think by then he had already met this chick. He had, he was already talking to this chick named Melina, right? So Melina's a um, first off, she was a nobody. She was a nobody before he met her. Apparently, I think he went. No, I mean don't don't you know quote me on this, but I believe he went to. Um, I think she's Swedish or something like that. Um, so he went out there to visit another guy, another fan of his or something like that. And I guess he like some dude named Max and he told him, you know, I got a girlfriend 
and um yeah we want to meet up blah 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 let's hang out this that and the other so that's what they did they hung out and then we got super drunk we need to no 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 we're okay, not drunk let me explain what happened. he's like this one is drunk and that guy is no drunk. it's not true you're drunk. So drunk i right now Apparently. i'm babysitting these two guys because they're very drunk so i'm trying to make sure that they become hey, yo. sober right mm -hmm. you want to be sober okay so we're going to become sober hey yo <laughs> First off, man, buddy, why are you letting that man touch on on your face like that, man? Like, what the, what, what is going on here, man? Obviously, y'all can see what's going on. Like, they finna do something dirty to this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. My man's just touching, uh, putting his finger all in his, on his face and all that. Like, come on, man. That's straight violating them you know what i'm saying that's violation right there man like what they do what they about to do i don't know what they about to do i don't know what they did but we all know what happened we all know what was about to go down all right um, so let's can we go to adm 76 and get some more drinks no i yes. don't think yes i think yes. we should get another one um Oh my god, you're so smart. <laughs> you're like streaming more than I have. Don't fall off. No, I'm, you not, okay? I'm not gonna fall Wait, off. you're gonna fall off. No, I'm not, I'm not. You're right at the edge. No, I'm not. Can you please come back? No. <laughs> look at, look at this girl. Okay? Yes. Okay. I look. He's so mad. I asked him for permission. Do you know what's cool about New Zealand? Yo, look at what? I don't ever feel Look at the way <laughs> that she is dressed. I mean, I mean, he ain't dressed no better, but. She like a little hippie, you know what I'm saying? Like she just like a little hippie. That's what she looked like. But um, <laughs> continue on. Uh, what? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Are you judging me? Get away from me. Listen, can we please get the boxes first? Can we? We're going to the van anyway. So wouldn't shouldn't we retrieve the? Box? I think before the boxes, we should go through your daddy issues. What am I? I don't have daddy issues. I don't Mo like my parents. And your mommy issues? No, I don't have any of that. <laughs> Stephen Kenneth Bonnell II and... My man said his whole name. So this is the, the, the dude that she was, that she was currently with. This is what, this is the Max guy. So I think he's the Twitch, the fan or some, something, something like that, right? So this is the dude that she's currently with. Apparently she's in a open relationship with this dude or whatever. And she ends up leaving um, this dude for uh, Destiny, you know? So, I mean, look at this. I mean, she she all over the place. You know what I'm saying? She don't really have no, she don't really got no standards. You know what I'm saying? She just, I mean, she don't look that good herself, but I think she could get better looking dudes than this but probably not though she's i mean i don't know man this is diary log 21 day two with destiny he's kind of a manlet uh kind of like a big child in some parts he's very grown like when it comes to computers and streaming services like that maybe even oh, politics Dumps in the forest. Yeah. It's fucking nice. Yeah, but you're you're more connected to nature. So this is what we're doing. We're having a rehabilitation. All right. I mean, so I, as you can see off top, she's already gross. She just says she takes dumps in the forest. I mean, why don't you just go to the bathroom? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you t what are we, what are you talking about right now? Anyway, so. I think she's about 19 right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's legal age. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he, I think he's like 30 at this point and she's like 19. I mean, whatever. It ain't no, it ain't, I'm, that's not even the issue right now. The issue is she is, and this is for, this is for, um, um, like, how can I put it? Like, um, this is for educational purpose only. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, I don't want to downplay him and, and, you know, make fun of his, his misery right now. But apparently they was together from the time he stole, he did his Trey songs move, Mrs. Steal Your Girl, stole the girl from him. And then, cause 
whatever. I guess he fell for her after they messed around and shit. He liked her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Stole the girl from her, from him, and then um, then he decided to marry her for some dumbass reason. Like, why the fuck? Like, that's what I don't be understanding about these dudes, man. I don't get it. Like, just keep her as the side, the hoe. Just keep her as the hoe. Why you have to marry her? For what? There's no... Well, I know why, but... She's... Swedish, you know what I'm saying? And he's a U.S. citizen. So, his thing was like... Well, I'll let him tell you what his thing was. Into your guys' relationship, did you start this dynamic? Right at the very beginning. Right at the very beginning. Yeah. So, you guys were like... Right off the bat, like, yo, let's do it this way. This is the only relationship I've ever done. Whose idea people. was the whole open relationship? Yours, Destiny? Both. Basically, yeah. I, like, after my last relationship, Base. I didn't actually ever think I would date again. Cause, so. I want to pause it right there because my man asked him, whose idea was this? This was your idea, Destiny? Basically, yeah. Then he scratches his neck. Yo, was it your idea or not for the open relationship? The answer is no, it wasn't his idea. That's her idea. That was all her idea. And he's just playing into it. He playing into it. Let me let y'all uh, hear. Just, yeah. just, Has it yeah. been difficult maintaining this dynamic? Um, I mean, in We've a run way. into a lot of crazy yeah. people. But it's also or, a lot like, of fun, too. Get crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. so, so how are You're you? You're probably not attracting the most sane people in the first place. I try to go for that. people that are open or like that are poly now because it makes things a lot easier. So we can just avoid like the jealousy because I don't even think it's really fair to like, I almost feel like when someone agrees to sleeping with any of us, and they're thinking it's a fun thing. Usually we're like a lot cooler, you know, and they don't really realize until later on and then they get really obsessed or they feel really, really bad. So I usually feel really bad for them later on as well. So I don't think it's really fair either to do look, that. Just look How at him. How long into your guys' relationship did you start this dynamic? Right at the very beginning. Right at the mm -hmm. very beginning. Yeah. So you guys were like right off the bat, like, yo, let's do it this way. This is the only relationship I've ever done. Whose idea people. was the whole open relationship? Yours does Basically, yeah. Basically, I, like, after yeah. my last relationship, I didn't actually ever think nah. of it again. Nah, buddy. Around is fun and shit. Yeah. So the idea of like being locked down to one person is not fun. And I started talking to her and she was cool. And she's like, oh, well, I do open relationships. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, shit, this is like perfect. So and and why did you decide to get married then? And what does that because mean? Because she lives Ooh, in Sweden. Good question. In the United States. And the only way she can spend any considerable amount of time with me is to be married. So it was just a green card. Just that. Kind of, yeah. It was during, but I mean, like, we love each other, too. During mm -hmm. the pandemic, this just, yeah, it was crazy for everybody yeah. visa wise. Boom. So there's your we, answer. We'll probably also, do like, I imagine we'll do like an official ceremony at some point. We just have to like get the logistics set up and everything. But I think yeah. we've been together for long enough to like, oh, we're like married. We love each other. So I'm not familiar with all of the right regulations or whatever but isn't there a timeline that if you reach like five years of marriage uh from a green card marriage you can get divorced and the person who is from another country can keep their green card and I at that, that point do you think that you will divorce and then stay together i don't think we'd ever divorce but the um technically don't Shit. take legal advice me but i think mm -hmm. if you're in the united states on a visa and you're in the process of getting the green card, you can break up already and still follow through in your green card process. I've had a few friends that's done that. Yeah, you don't yeah. even have to go okay. through with the marriage technically, mm -hmm. so yeah. Hmm. And you come from a family where this is that ain't true, right, Melina? Um, I think my parents did do like swinger stuff and like open things, like non-monogamous things together. I don't know Were you aware if they, of that um, at the time? Not at the time, like when I was a kid or anything, but like later on when I was talking to my mom when I was older, and I was like, oh, I, open relationship makes a lot more sense to me <laughs> she's like oh yeah i did that too <laughs> so it's like okay are your parents still together no okay okay <laughs> destiny of course they're not together man because that shit doesn't work it doesn't work we all know that man like it could work the only way that it could work if it, the relationship was open on his end and his end only that's the only way that it could work, but it probably wouldn't work that way either, but it could work that way, meaning that he has became the type of man that can do that. Like you have to be an abnormal man to be able to do that. Number one, you have to have the funds. You have to be taking care of, you know, all the women that you have, you have to be able to take care of all of them. So if you have the funds and you have the ability, 
you have the charm, you have all these different qualities in a man that all these women want, then yeah, you could you could do this. You could do that. But a woman, if you leave it open on her end, hell no, nah, man. It's 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 going that relationship is not gonna last. It's never it's since the beginning of time, it's never that's never been a possibility. That doesn't work. I mean, you hear porn. I mean, corn stars talk about that stuff, man, and how they do it. All those chicks are they're off. They're all single. They're all in these messed up relationships. They're just banging a bunch of different people like it's gross, man. It's gross. And this chick is gross. But hold on. Let me see. Let me. I, I haven't watched this whole thing, man. Let me see what else they got to say. You didn't you come from like a Bible Belt background or no? Like, yeah, very, you did, very, right? very conservative. Yeah. yeah Do you feel like that's catalyzed your political evolution? I mean, I'm not related to that at all anymore. But it would be stupid to say that my upbringing didn't influence my political stuff. But I'm sure it has. It's hard to know how it manifests exactly. But yeah, I was writing articles for my school newspaper supporting like Bush and the Iraq War when I was in high school. So <laughs> wow, so you're on the other spectrum from yeah, where you my, are now. My mom is Cuban, so Cuban people in general uh, are very, very, very conservative. Were you ever Especially, socially conservative at the time? Yeah, of course, yeah, very much. Like hated, not hated gay people, but very much against like LGBT stuff and all that. Um, when did that change? As I when you started messing with dudes. High school, I became an atheist, and then as I started to get more, once I started streaming, when I turned like I think 21, 22, once I started to make more money, my political views started to shift quite a bit. Interesting. Yeah. And anyway, as you, I mean, as you can see, it wasn't. You could tell that it's not. It wasn't his idea to 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 be in that type of relationship. Um. Let's be honest. Most dudes are not comfortable with other dudes banging their girlfriend i mean we're bare we're very territorial for a reason men are very territorial for a reason and it's not it's one one of the thing a biological reason is if she gets pregnant what if that think about this she's out in the streets doing her thing banging random dudes or doing whatever she wants she gets pregnant now it's like now he worried, right? He's like, damn, is it my baby? Is it my kid? You shouldn't be having to worry about that with your wife. You shouldn't be worried about if that's your kid or not. If that's your wife, you shouldn't be worried about whose kid is it. But you have to worry about with her because she dirty. She in the streets because you're letting her. You're allowing her to do that. You are are the leader in the relationship you are supposed to lead the relationship it is your responsibility as a man to be in control of the relationship and where it goes this is why men have to court women because they are responsible for the relationship that's what it is so in his case if if he was if she was to come to him and like look this is what i like i like open relationships Let's say it was me and I met this Molina chick in the streets because that's where she at all the time. Hey, um, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. Me and you talking this, that and the other. And uh, we start messing around. She tells me, oh, I like open relationships in my head. I'm like, oh, cool. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I like those, too. I like open relationships, too. Cool, man. Let's, that's cool. So you want to be in a relationship with me? I mean, yeah, this is a relationship. I mean, we're 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 cool. We're messing around. Everything is relationship. When you are at work, you have coworkers. That's a relationship. You you talk to different people. If you guys are messing around, that's a relationship. But you about to be my girl? <laughs> Please, man. Hell nah. I want to be the dude that's messing with you on the side. So the the guy the, the dudes that she messes with on the side of destiny, I'd rather be that dude. I'd rather be him. I'd rather be the one piping her and she got a husband at home. That's what I'd rather do. I ain't about to marry that chick. Are you crazy? That's foolish. I don't even under, I don't understand why he thought that that was a good idea. And and this is a smart dude. Like if you when you hear his interviews and stuff, you you listen to him. 
he's a gamer streamer whatever you could tell that he's a very he's an educated person like he 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 knows how to uh you know debate he's a good debater but that just goes to show you man that everybody that's good at talking and debating and stuff like that they not they may not have them street smarts and that was a dumb move by him to marry this chick so your relationship is you're in an open relationship mm -hmm. what's that like from a game theoretic simulation perspective what went into that calculation and like how does that like how that started or yeah, how did that start sure um the only relationships i've ever done has been open relationships since i was like in high school because i didn't really understand like why wouldn't you be able to like do other things with other people but then just like have your main partner basically so what what is an open relationship because that's that's called a whore that's what whores do what do you mean you don't understand you 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 like, you know, you understood, but you were able to um, find weak men because that's what she's used to doing. You could tell. You could tell. First of all, she's she's decent looking. That's 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 about it. But look at the men that she deals with. She deals with weak men. Weak men that don't stand up for their own rights as a man. That's what she does. So she she feeds off that. You could tell. I mean, come on, look at look at Destiny, man. Look at that. Look at the last dude, the Max dude. And hold on a second. I haven't even showed you the new dude that she's with. She got a new dude. She has a new dude already. Before they're not even divorced yet. She already got another dude. Relationship, generally speaking. That um, means you have one like main a partner. Not a monogamous relationship. Like you're somehow allowed, like in different ways um you can see other people sexually sexually but like there's one main yeah, uh, yeah. Or it station. doesn't have to be there for some people yeah. but like <laughs> okay. i think it's probably easier and we probably don't really have time or the energy for like more than like one person to like really like mm -hmm. what about on? like emotional it's it's really complicated there's a lot of complicated stuff going on <laughs> under the hood there yeah um I think broadly speaking, you've got like polyamorous relationships and you've got like open relationships where polyamorous is like, oh, I've got like three different girlfriends and we all hang out or sometimes even live together or three boyfriends, or whatever. And then you've got like open relationships, which is like, oh, you know, like you can basically hook up with other people. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like your main relationship and that's it. I think ours is probably somewhere in the middle, in the middle of that yeah. um, to where like we've got like long term friends, some of them we hook up with. And that's kind of how we, yeah, it's a delicate dance that. Uh, explodes every six months on itself. <laughs> so it does explode. You guys fight over it? We fight over some things, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because you don't it, like it. I think it's mostly because a lot of people can't handle it. And they, they agree to something it. and then they realize that we're way too cool. And then they get really obsessed and they think that they can like get in there and then it gets really dramatic. Mm -hmm. Have so, you figured it out? Like, um, it like I, th I feel dance. like we figure out things more and more like when it comes to like what's a good person for us to hang out and what's a, not a good person for us to hang out with or... Like, I probably have more opinions on, like, who he hangs out with because he likes the fucking psychos. <laughs> yeah, so you, you like the surround... <laughs> he likes the not, like, the crazy ones, like the baby trap sort of women. That's yeah. the that's the ones, and so I don't crazier. like that because that affects me. <laughs> <laughs> that affects your game theoretical yeah, relationship. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Right. Uh, you like to surround yourself, like, in general, you've talked about with crazy people. I say crazy, and I really shouldn't. It's, it's a humorous more, way. It's like, yeah. It's They're very unstable. Very, can be unstable. Yeah. But people that are very unique. Like, when I meet this person, that's like. Not boring. Yeah, yeah. not boring. Yeah. And you said that you're progressively becoming not boring yourself. No, I think I'm pretty stable. I don't let them affect me much, but. So you don't think they affect your. No, nah, if I've said that, I've said it jokingly. I think I've like, I've got my stuff like really well figured out. It's what allows me to engage with people like this so easily because I can engage, I can make them feel seen and heard. And then if it gets insane, I can cut off and I can be chill. Like very few things affect me in the long term. Do you guys experience jealousy? Usually like whenever I feel like he's not spending the, like that amount of time. Did you see his face right then? What he did right there when he did a little smile? It ain't her. She don't, she really don't, she don't give a fuck. You could tell that she don't give a fuck. She hasn't been giving a fuck since she was like 15 or whatever the fuck she was in high school. But he does. He cares. This is probably the baddest chick he's ever been with. This might, that's what it is, man. He this might be the baddest chick he's ever been with. When he put that little smile on his the little smirk, any jealousy, he did a little smirk. 
And then she, I'm pretty sure she's about to say, well, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I, I want to spend time with him and I don't like when he doesn't spend time with him as if he gets a lot of bitches or something. I don't believe it. The time that I'm asking for and he spends it on his video games or his stream or like he sees someone else like more than he sees me or something like that. That would like not be good because then it affects like our relationship. Do you have a good sense of like, is it literally time or is it? the energy put into the it's probably like if like if he's with me that like the attention in the time like when he hangs out with me and then there's also probably the time so if i feel like something else is distracting too much like it could be work or it could be a friend or it could be anything like if i feel like it starts to take away from like me then i'm having an issue with it i don't think he really cares much i guess the only jealousy you experience is probably when you feel like um like if i get upset about him seeing someone too much and then I go see someone more. And then he's like, why can't I go see my friend more, like, as much as you? So, like, that's the sort of, like, thing that we're trying to navigate on, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm not buying it, man. I just I just think that it, it, you could just tell that she's running a relationship, which is unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate for, for him because he allowed that to happen. And But she's good at it. You could tell, man, she's... She's good at making him feel like that he's the man, like he's running stuff. She, I, you could tell in that conversation, like, you know, she's like, I, I get a little jealous when he spends time with other girls, and then you know, I want my time. And then, man, she don't really give a fuck, man. She don't. She don't. She just like, and if she does, it's just because she's a needy ass chick, and she just wants to fucking. She just wants what she wants when she wants it, so she can argue with him, and he's just gonna give her what she wants, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like Destiny. He's a good person. I have a massive amount of respect for him. Anyone that can come into contrarian spaces and have debates and uh, articulate himself, even though we don't necessarily always agree on everything, I have a massive amount of respect for him. He's a good guy. Uh, I really have nothing bad to say about him. Um, th th this whole situation with uh, with his wife, you know, for everyone out there that's like, you know, rejoicing and laughing and saying, yeah, ha, 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 blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, that, that's some shitty behavior, bro. Like, at the end of the day. I think, if anything, look at the situation for what it is. Learn from it. Obviously, I, I hope, you know, whatever is going on between him and, him and his wife, you know, gets sorted out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is something that I've kind of mentioned before already. Uh, I've told Destiny this before, uh, that I don't think open relationships ever work whenever a woman is open as well. It only works when the man is open, but never when the woman's open. And it comes back to what we were discussing earlier, you know, and I've been saying this for years. A woman can't serve two masters. She really can't. Right. And whenever you open the door for her to, you know, exercise options or explore other men, at some point, you're opening the door for her to attach to someone else that might be able to have traits that you might not necessarily have. Whereas as a man, we don't operate like that. Right. We, we're like, your girl is your girl for a reason, right. you know? So, um, with that said, you know, obviously I hope Destiny's okay. I hope nothing, you know, bad is going on. I hope, you know, yeah. him and his wife are able to reconcile this to some degree where it doesn't damage him from a financial perspective as much, especially since he invested a good amount of money into her with platforming her. Obviously, he's very successful financially, smart guy. She's been able to build off her own little platform off of him. So I hope that he smart doesn't... as well. Yeah. I hope he doesn't get, uh, you know, financially torched for it. Um, but yeah. I mean, it's it, it just sad what's going on here between her. It's just like, dude, it, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile, right? And it's like, I looked at this and I was like, man, like, this chick, man, like, she's on some bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And this happened. Uh, so Destiny isn't a bad person, 100%. Really cool guy. I just think he made a choice where, you know, it was going to benefit him in, in the long term. And uh, as men, we make choices, you know? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a perfect choice. Maybe it was a bad choice, but ultimately, yeah. Um, I just hope nothing happens to him financially. Yeah, you know, he could recover. Think, from yeah, it. think about this though. If if women like security, right? Women like security. Boundaries. Women. Do they talk this shit on Facebook and all this uh, Instagram? But women love boundaries. Like it makes them feel secure. Mm. Just think about it. Exactly. If you got a woman, right? And she look at you and she say, "Oh, he'll let me do whatever." I, like he, they think you don't care about them when you let them rip and run and, and run right. wild like that. It's and true. so. Mm -hmm. When when you, that's a good point, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like that's they really, they, they mm -hmm. need the security and boundaries is a good way. Like there's no, I ain't never really met no woman who was into me that bucked back at boundaries. Yeah. That's only when women using you as a placeholder and shit like that. And they don't really like you. Then they be like, oh, you controlling and shit. But when a woman like you, she like to to feel secure in those 
in those boundaries. And women, when women like you, they'll play within those boundaries. But if you let them run wild, they're going to run wild, and they're going to think you don't care about them. Yeah. yeah. And if a woman think you don't care about the, her, if she think that you don't care about her, you're not going to get her all. She's not going to put her all into you. Yeah, and that's and that's basically what it boils down to, man. That's what I was trying to say earlier is that women naturally don't, they don't really want to lead the relationship. They want you to lead the relationship. There's cert, there's things that they want to do that they know that they're supposed to do, like naturally. They know that they're supposed to do certain things naturally, but they expect you to do what you're supposed to do naturally. And one of those natural things is to lead the relationship. That's all he's basically saying. You need to set standards, set rules, put things in place, put boundaries, things that you're not going to accept. And she'll adhere to that. If she fucks with you like that, if she likes you in that way, she will she will adhere to the to those standards. But you have to set them. You had to set the standards. One of those standards got to be. You're not messing with no other dudes. That's like that's got to be number one. I, that's to me, that's something that doesn't even need to be. You don't even need to say that. That should every man should want that. But <clears throat> what's happening is. This girl came into the relationship and she set her standards. Now she's waiting for you to say, are you cool with that? And if you say, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that open. I'm good with you messing with other dudes while you with me. In her head, she's saying, oh, this dude's a sucker. I'm finna get him. I'm finna get him. You know what? Let's get married. Let's 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 get married. Let's, how much money you got? What what platform you on? You on um you on Twitch? You got millions and millions of followers? Oh, you make a lot of money? All right, cool. Let's do this because she benefits. She's gonna do it because she benefits. And people act like, you know, I hear women talk all the time and men too. I think men are more honest with it, but women act like they don't like they don't look for benefits in a relationship. Everybody does everybody looks for benefits in a relationship if it's not been even if in friendships if you're in a friendship and that friendship is not benefiting you why are you friends with that person if you can't count if you're if you have a best why is that person your best friend he or she is your best friend because you can count on them you know you can come to them you could talk to them they there when they need you they make you laugh they make you they, they, they listen to your problems. They help you with your, with your problems. They support you. They, uh, they're just there for you, you know? So that's beneficial to you. Same with a woman. If you're dating a woman, what benefits do I get out of dating this woman? She's this, she's that. She's good with family. She's, she cooks. She knows how to cook. She knows how to clean. She knows how to run a household. She, she she loves strong. She knows how to love a man. She knows how to uh, be supportive. She doesn't argue a lot. She doesn't bother me. She leaves me alone. That's beneficial to me. You know, that's what helps. That helps me out. She helps me with my business. She uh, uh, she tries to help me solve solve problems when I need help. You know what I'm saying? But as a man, you you're ultimately you are the problem solver. But that's the things that she's going to be looking for. So when she looks for a man, she's looking for the guy that's who's strong. Who's the strongest male for me? Is he competent? Can he does he make enough money? Does he know how to earn money? Is he successful? Is he ambitious? Is is he protective? Does he put his foot down when he needs to? Does he tell me, oh, oh, I can't, you shouldn't be wearing that? Does he say, oh, you shouldn't be going here? Does he hit you up when it's late at night? Like, where you at? Why are you not at home? You're supposed to be in the house. Why are you not here? They want that stuff. You think they don't want it? You crazy. That's what they want. But instead, Destiny thinks that he has to adhere to what she wants in the relationship he's letting her run the relationship and she don't same way adam 22 he doing the same thing that girl came to him and said hey i've been thinking about doing this uh 
you know you think i should continue my porn career my corn my corn career you think i should continue doing it she's giving she's asking him like what should i do lead me in the right direction and what did he do yeah you should go mess with that black dude like he's a cool dude man you should go mess with him that'd be good for your career So what she do? All right, well, and how did he? How you think he met that girl, Adam Twenty Two? Back, how you think he met that girl? He met her and he banged her with some other dude. That's how he met her. So he had a he had a he ran a train on that girl with some other dude, and then he married her. That's crazy. That's unheard of, man. I've I've never I've never heard of nothing like that before. Not until the internet came, you know what I'm saying? That's that's quick. It back when I was younger, she she's for the she's for the streets, man. She's for the homies, man. You cannot you can't wife, you can't you can't do nothing with that. Because especially when you get married, the purpose of marriage is to form this unity that's totally being married and having a girlfriend is totally different i understand it's nothing really changes it seems like but when you decide to marry a woman you're basically saying i'm gonna settle down with this chick and i'm gonna have kids with her you know i'm gonna have a family i don't even really understand why people get married if they don't plan on having kids what's the point of getting married i mean i would think that you're supposed to get married and you're supposed to have kids that's the next that's the next step this is i'm marrying you because i want to i want to have you to have kids with you know that's just one one of the things you know but some people just get married just to you know whatever you know what i'm saying everybody's got their own reasons but the point is man the whole point of this is you know don't do what destiny did do not let a woman tell you where the relationship is going to go don't let her dictate what she wants to do as far as you know especially when it comes to like what she's going to be doing sexually like that shouldn't even be a question it shouldn't even be a question man if she want to be in an open relationship then cool just keep hitting her until she move on to somebody that wants to be with her you know what i'm saying like because you can't what you gonna do with that i know what you're gonna do with it you're gonna marry her and it's gonna end it's gonna end in divorce that's the that's there's no we can't think of nobody i can't think of anybody who's ever lasted in some open relationship even even the rumors about will smith and jada pinkett smith they say that was those are rumors and that shit that relationship didn't even last come on man i mean there's other people too but so my advice to you guys man is just find you a woman that's not like that's not like her because she's not the even her own even her parents even she said her parents was in some open relationship and are you surprised that didn't work no hell nah man of course it didn't work of course it didn't work so but let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all think y'all think open relationships are cool um should a woman be able to just get married and then sleep around with whoever she wants is that cool with y'all um you know how do y'all feel about destiny man obviously he made a mistake or did it just it's just something that just happened you know let me know in the comments don't forget to uh get on amazon man make sure y'all in the gym working out get you these uh electrolytes the bcaa's man electrolytes plus aminos gotta have it man i need to hydrate make sure y'all hydrating check that out the pre-workout is out of stock right now. 
It's the pre-workout, man. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. All right, here we go. That's the pre-workout. I'll let you guys know when that's back in stock, man. Y'all check that out. I got the pump coming out next. The pump is on the way. And uh, I'll let y'all know when that drops. But for now, man, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And please go to my um, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link right here or whatever right here. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.